Now this is why we also love it. Round four, heat four, Mark Lacamere, Koa Smith, Tanner Gadowskis, and John John Florence. Four surfers will enter, two surfers will exit. One's still gonna be a world champ, but one could be on the championship tour next year. And we're gonna start it off with the reigning world champion, current, current fans triple crown of surfing leader, John John Florence. Again on a fresh board. This is his first ride ever on this board. And uh, looks pretty good, doesn't it? It works. No and, problem. Oh, jeez. He is going to be tough to beat here today. Big heat. Again, the drama doesn't stop, does it? No it way. is uh, Tanner Godowskis, Mark Lackamere, career feeling heats. Koa Smith going to pick up a huge score for his work on the back end and make it very difficult. <laughs> it's not going to be, no one's going to be giving up wow. in these heats. It's going to be all about tenacity. I mean, we know John John Florence is feeling no pressure. We uh, have been kind of using that phrase. Eight waves. You need eight good waves today. Kenner Gadowski has already has one good wave, a four. You know, he's got to back it up. This wave, he's trying to eat him alive as he's way into the channel. So we caught that one kind of midway out towards the peak. And rode it all the way through. Mark Lacamere now on his first wave. Nice opening snap. Getting bounced around all over the place. Goes down. So after one pretty decent turn, Lacamere tries to force the issue, and he gets stung. That's why it breathes. That's why it's so uh, up and down and sideways. It's a beautiful turn there from Tanner. He, he would have loved to have just gotten one more opportunity to be able to get a hook in there, because that would have been a big score. But just the one maneuver there, and then again, this is that crease wave where you can see it's pushing from the top of that main break at sunset into the inside bowl. That carve, and then he needs to hit it here. He knows it, and he goes for it. But again, just wave is breathing and moving and constantly. It's not that perfect kind of... We got for the waves today, it's creating a, a lot of stability for the surfers. They're getting extra chances today, Kipes. Let's get into the first three heats of the morning. David Silva, Jack Freestone, Ian Govea, and Matt Wilkinson. David Silva looking good out there. You know, he wasn't just kind of laboring through his carbs. He was actually pinning the lip, uh, and he was rewarded, getting some solid scores. But we had a lot of focus, Kaipo, on this man right here. This is a young Aussie, Jack Freestone. He needs this result right here, and he scooted through just narrowly. Yeah, really important heat for both these guys, David Silva and Jack Freestone. Yeah, David Silva, look at that, actually hitting the lip. And that's always going to bode well for you. If you can hit the lip at Sunset Beach when it's 68 feet, you're going to get scored. David Silva wins the heat along with Jack Freestone advancing on to the quarterfinals. Next up, Ezekiel Lau, Wiggly Dantes, Ricardo Christie, and Adriano D'Souza. Yeah, Wiggly Dantes looked like he had, you know, kind of a dream heat. Everything was cool. He didn't have to come back at the last minute there. He got a couple of solid scores. He did his brand of surfing, Kaipo. He produced his brand of surfing, which is throwing buckets and uh, carving. But this man right here, again, just like Jack in the heat prior, a lot of focus on him, trying to qualify, sitting at 14th in the ratings, and this barrel came right to him. And that was an eight-point ride right there, big old shack on the inside bowl, and that got him through the next round. The entire 50th state pulling for Ezekiel Lau. He didn't let him down with a 13.67 to move on, along with Wiggly Dantes. This guy, unfortunately, out of competition. Love this wave, though, from Ricardo. 7.5. Wouldn't have mind if it was another point on that. Three nice hacks for him, but going down against Brother Zeke and uh, uh, Wiggly Dantes. Next heat up, Billy Kempo, Federico Moraes, Felipe Toledo, and Adrian Ace Buckin. Another really cool heat here. Again, we're keeping focus on our QS guys that are trying to qualify, and that's the case for Federico. But our local regional qualifier, Billy Kemper, showing why he's kind of the man out here, Kaipo. Uh, he's won events at Sunset Beach. He's very comfortable with this lineup. He knows how to navigate it. He's a big wave wizard. You know, homeboy just won the Peahi Challenge for the second year in a row. So he's a fighter. And you can see Billy right here. Again, it's all about finding those gems at Sunset Beach. They're not easy to find. You know, you got to put yourself, it's a huge lineup. He got himself a couple of perfect waves, big old barrels, uh, you know, and a pretty convincing win. This was a buzzer beater, though, right here. Watch this big old off the lip uh, uh, on the inside bowl at Sunset. That's not typical. A lot of times you're just nursing through carves, but Federico under pressure. You got to give him credit there, delivering just the score he needed, which was a five point ride. Yeah, five point six for Federico Marias. Pipe Masters trophy. Will it be this guy, John John Florence? Oh, well, he's got a 
high probability of winning at Pipeline being his wow. front yard, and that opening snap Jeez. was laser sharp. The second one, not so much, goes down. So one mean, of the first mistakes we've seen John John Florence made, make of this entire event. And right behind him, Koa Smith, suffering from the uh, bad voodoo of that second turn of John John. He goes down in the it, middle of a bottom turn. Isn't it, I mean, like, I mean, I don't know what adjective I want to use, but how much faster and crazier John's moves are than anybody else in the world. <laughs> it's just so, I mean, both those moves were so committed to keep us sheltered here on the North Shore, and that's what I hope that we can have uh, this nice classic conditions until we get to the final. John John Florence ripping into the lip. His board gets blasted out from under his feet. That was the calm before the storm. Let's take a look at the very beginning of this heat, where really the meat of the points we're seeing on the scoreboard were found, starting with John John Florence. Opening wave with a 4 3 Koa Smith, the real only score of note in this heat, an 8 1 7. He's finding form in his backhand, but so far after that wave has yet to find uh, anything to give him a backup score. Tanner Gadowskis, meanwhile, he's got two mid fours. Got to get to work. He's got to get one big solid score if he wants to really place himself in a safe spot to advance. And then we got John John Florence making mistakes, which we are not used to seeing. Yeah, it's unfortunate because, I mean, he would be, he he is leading the heat, but he would be leading it by a bit of a long shot if he uh, had, you know, completed two of those rides. Mark Lachmere with priority rolling the dice on a medium insider. And now that could be seen as questionable wave selection for the Frenchman. Right behind him, Tanner Godowskis looking for somewhere to strike, and again with second priority. Tanner Godowskis maybe getting a bit nervous and taking off on a wave that wasn't gonna give him the opportunity for a giant score. That leaves trouble out the back. Koa Smith with priority, John Florence with second priority. This is where we could potentially see these two good friends try to box in the competition. What happened here, Pete? Well, again, you know, you have priority. You see a set that has uh, the ability to go through to the inside. I mean, you would have looked at this wave on the outside and went, oh, I'll get you. It's going to get a couple turns here. That's all I need to really do. But it just flattened out for him. Same thing kind of happened here for Tanner, except for this one ran off and he wasn't able to get a maneuver in. So just going to be low scores for both Mark and Tanner. Well, we're seeing potential nerves coming into play here with three surfers who were in great priority spots taking off on bad looking waves. What? Tanner paddles back out. He's got to watch John Florence now. That leaves the lineup clear. Tanner Godowskis, John Florence in and under. Squished. The tube. Well, he lets this one go. That gives Mark Lacamere a shot who needs a 5 7 3. He's got one big section to work with. Oh. And he goes down. So out the back, that leaves Tanner Godowskis needing this wave to stand up. 20 seconds go, big grab rail, bottom turn. Nice opening snap for Tanner Godowskis. He's got to crack off one more turn. He needs a 4-6-8. Love that opening snap. That was pretty mental. So far, the one over. big turn has been the difference. Was that turn worthy and of something knock. above a 4-6-8? John John out. I don't want to sound cliche, but you really cannot script this, <laughs> all right? You can't. <laughs> So don't even try, Pete. But watch this. I mean, he does not hold back. Look at it. He knows how important this is and how nervous Damn. it is. I mean, that was a huge turn. One big turn. And he gets the score. 5-3-3. Three, three. Tanner Gadowskis using the power of positive surfing along with the power of powerful surfing. Gets the win. That was huge. We could be looking at a storybook finish for a guy who's been fighting to get back on the championship tour. I feel the stoke Chickens. rising from the beach here. Again. Again. Oh, wow. Well, don't go anywhere. More big heats to come.